YouTube, Ontarian1986 here. Um, today I'm doing a VR, um, a video response to Z Outdoors. Um, he's doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, I've actually had the pleasure of speaking to Z on the phone for about an hour in the last few days. Um, and I'll put this out there now. He's going to give away a £100 Amazon gift voucher to whoever wins the prize for showing their bushcraft kit. Um, and I've said to Zed, um, I don't want to be pompous or anything, but I don't want the money. I don't want the prize. Um, I'm doing this for the support for your channel. Um, I think you've got some great ideas, um, and especially from speaking to you on the phone, um, I think you're destined for some quite big things on YouTube. So, yeah, the competition is show us your bushcraft quick uh, for an overnighter. So um, I'm going to show you my winter um, overnight bushcraft kit. So although I'm in the back garden, I'm actually wearing shorts and t-shirt and flip-flops. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. Um, but I've been going out a lot over the winter. Um, probably averaging once a fortnight from end of no end of November to right up until um, today, which is the 27th of February, I think 26th of February. I'm not sure. Um, I've slept since then, so I'm not. I'm just not sure. But uh, well, you know, we're nearly in March, and the weather's getting better. So this kit will change in the next few weeks. Um, what I'll do, guys, is I'll turn the camera around. Um, I'll talk you through my kit. And as always, I never think I'm an expert. If you have any ideas or ways that I can improve my kit, I'd love to hear them. Um, you know, and that's the whole idea of this community. That's the whole idea that Zed's got, that I've got. You know, we're not going to be experts, but share the knowledge. Um, what works for you might not work for me, but what, what might not work for you might be ideal for somebody else. So YouTube's the perfect tool to pass information around um, and share the knowledge. So, you know, I'm not going to bamble on because, uh, yeah, I want to get this done. I'll turn the camera around and, uh, yeah, we'll get started. So, just to give you a quick idea here, I've laid it all out on the table. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of guys that say it's very bulky and um, and very weight uh, very weighty, but you're correct, it is very weighty, um, and that's the reason I've been using it in the winter. Um, that's one thing you have to compromise on um, for me personally, anyway, is um, the weight, um, but how comfortable you'll be in the woods. So um, yeah, I'll start with my sleep systems. So first of all, if you've watched my channel before, um, I've got the um, Army issue. Um, bouncing bomb Arctic sleeping bag. It is big, it is bulky, but you know it just keeps you incredibly, incredibly warm. Um, you know, I'm sure some people have lighter sleeping bags. In the summer, I'll change this. I've got a, I've got a nice um, two-season sleeping bag that I'll change to probably in the next couple of months. But over the winter, for my quick overnighters, this is what I've been using. Great piece of kit. Um, again, very big and bulky, bulky, but it's something I've been using. Um, I've only used it on two camps, um, the last two camps I've been on. Um, this is in a jungle um, compression sack, but it's actually one of the Czech bedroll kits. Um, about £10, I thought, you know, I'll give it a go. Um, and with the temperatures we've been having in the UK over the last couple of weeks, the Czech bedroll kit inside um, the bouncing bomb, um, it's probably overkill. But again, for an overnighter, um, and certainly a bushcroft overnighter. I'd rather be too warm than too cold. Um, you'll see in a second some of my kit is more prepping related rather than bushcraft, um, but I'm a massive believer there's a big crossover in the community. So Then we'll come round. I have my DPM basher. Um, million and one uses for it, but I use it just solely for um, a, a, a basher. I have it just in a simple formation. Um, I'm looking at upgrading the, the basher soon. I've seen a nice civilian um, Van Gogh tarp that I'd like to get. Um, but this has served me proud over the last 18 months and uh, it's what I've been using. Um, to go with the sleep system, I've got a 10th Wonder hammock. I think it's an, a double XL hammock. Again, um, it costs about 17 pounds and for the money and the amount of time I've spent in it, it's been worth every single penny. Um, and then the last thing on the sleep system, really, is, and it's a luxury item, is a pillow. I've just got a carry more pillow, um, call me a tart, call me whatever you like, but again, I like to be comfortable. Um, I'm not the best of sleepers anyway, so that's something you can see here. It does take up a massive amount of space, and weight for that matter. This is optional, the check bed or kit is optional, but it's something I have been using, hence why I want to put it in the video. Kind of to go along with the sleep system, um, I have... 
just another pouch and this has um, paracord, um, bungees um, and pegs, just to peg down. Now I know you can make your own pegs but um, Zed's VR is a quick overnighter. So what I do is I'm not going to make my own pegs. I think it's 10 for a pound on the internet. Just bought 10 of them um, and I'm good to go there. So that's the sleep system encompassed there. Um, light and, and um, you know so I can see in the dark. So I have um, a Petzl head torch. Um, great piece of kit. It's really really bright. It comes with um, one of the flash lenses there um, to, to kind of diffuse the light um, if needed. Uh, it's got all the settings you know. Brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. I can't um, swear by this. I can't swear by it enough, sorry. Um, and then I've got just a, it's almost like an imitation mag light torch made by a company called Keen Ray. This was actually gifted to me by Michael, who's in Italy, so I hope you're doing well, mate. Um, wish you all the best. So I don't go overkill on the torch wise, um, however, I have got numerous different torches if needed. Um, while well, they're here, I take two knives with me um, and you might ask why I take two knives now that's simply because I normally go with my father or a another now I'm still a newbie but I'm in the luxurious position where I do have quite a bit of kit I think for someone that's been doing it as long as me so the first knife I have and again this is going to have its own review soon because it's an absolute beauty I don't know if you can see that this is the Jack Law that was kindly uh, donated uh, lended to me by Funky Prepper um, I've used it all the time. It is my come to knife. I love it. The only thing I don't like is the dangle loop thing, um, but that's just personal preference. Um, but what a it's, I, I can't swear by how good this knife is. It's absolutely superb. I also bring another knife with me, which is the Chris Kane. Um, a lot of guys on YouTube have, been, have, have seen that they're, they're purchasing one of these recently or doing reviews on, and I will do a review on this as well. Um, this was. Um, given to me by my father for Christmas. So in essence, if I, my dad isn't really a knife guy. Um, if I'm using the Jack Law, he'll use the Chris Kane, or it's always good to have a backup to a backup, I believe. So I take two knives with me. Food wise, now I go quite lightweight food wise, um, because if it's a quick overnighter, one meal um, and maybe a couple of snacks is all I need. So I normally have one of these meals. I don't know what the, who they're made by. Um, you know, it's just a chicken tikka, chick, chicken tikka um, combined with a rice and then maybe a Snickers bar for afterwards. That's all I'd need for a quick overnighter. Um, don't get me wrong, if I was out longer, then I would um, I take more food. goes without saying. Um, what I cook it in is I've just got a basic, basic pan. Um, and then to go with that, I have two containers, both um, that have a, that can carry a litre of water. You'll see that this one's got a bit of charring on it because what I do tend to do in the winter is just put this in the embers of the fires for a few minutes, let the water heat up, pop it in the bottom of my sleeping bag, and instant uh, instant central heating. So um, I only have one of them. So that's water. So two litres um, is normally more than enough for me. Um, I don't know what the guidelines are on that, but. Uh, um, to go with the food, I have a condiments kit here. I've actually done a standalone video on this, so if you're interested in it, guys, check it out because I would say that 99% of everything that's in the condiments kit was free. So it's tea bags, it's coffee, it's sachets of sauce, um, salt, pepper, Tabasco sauce, so on and so forth. Um, but most of it was free. So if you check out my previous video, one of my previous videos, you'll see how I got this for free. Basic stainless steel cup goes without saying. Knife, fork, and spoon set. Now to cook the food, I do it two ways really. Um, over the last few weeks, I've been experimenting with gas. So I have a Highlander um, kind of—I don't know what you even call it—a clip to go on the gas. Six pounds for the gas, um, and I think that will probably easily last you four, five, six, maybe seven overnighters. So I've been using that, and, and again, just for a quick overnighter. That is what I'll take with me, uh, the gas and the clip to go on and, and obviously support the stove. Um, then I also have a fire lighting kit, which is a little bit sparse and it needs to be topped up, but I've got a couple of fire steels. This is the coolest fire steel I've got. 
It's a double pronged wonder. Look at this. This is amazing. Love using this fire steel. Um, but inside the fire kit, I've got a lighter. I've got some windproof matches. Um, I've got some cotton buds. Um, and this is a new thing that I've got. Now, everyone's seen this on YouTube before, but I've got some fire dragon gel. I've got the big one. I've got the litre version. Um, I've done a quick experiment in the back garden. Didn't put it on camera because I'm going to do a standalone video. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is how could I beat Funky's video? I don't think I can. It'll just be my take on it. Um, but from what I've seen on, on YouTube and um, just having a quick go in the garden, it's fabulous stuff. I'll move up the way. Now, when I go into the woods, I'll always be wearing my combats, my snug pack um, softy t shirt, uh, and there'll always be a hat and gloves in the pocket. So, in the bottom of my bag, I always carry some spare army issue softy trousers and another spare army issue softy jacket. Probably overkill, but again, that's probably where the prepper in me comes out. I'd rather have too much stuff than not enough, um, and I'm in the fortunate position where nine times out of ten the woods I go to isn't that far away from my house. Then I have another small compression sack which has spare underwear, spare socks, a flannel, a toothbrush um, and some baby wipes just to keep me clean. Um, one night I'm probably not going to get that dirty but again hygiene is extremely important. Um, I'm not going to ramble on too much, I've only got a few other bits to do. I've got some Motorola XTR4446 radios. Um, if I'm doing a solo overnighter then I probably wouldn't even use these. but. I love going out with people, um, I love talking to people, I love sharing the experience of bushcraft and prepping with people, so nine times out of ten I've always got somebody to come with me. And just for peace of mind, I like to have the radios on me. Doesn't Even if I have them switched off, which is probably pointless and a waste of time and weight and effort, but I just like to have them on me, so if I want to go for a bimble and see what I can see and someone else is back at camp, I know I've always got that contact there if needed. Um, then I have an MTP smock. It's always at the bottom of my bag. I don't normally put this on until it gets um, towards the evening time. I love it. This jacket, you know, it's a British Army issue. As much of the stuff that I've got is, you, you simply cannot go wrong with this. I love it. Um, and the bag, it all goes in. I think this is an 80 litre British Army issue um, Bergen with the two rocket pouches. Um, again, I'm a massive, massive fan of this bag. It's served me through thick and thin. I did think about upgrading the bags um, soon, but then I thought, no, it serves everything I need. And if I have a bigger bag, I'm probably just going to take more stuff that I don't need. Um, so that's the bag. Now that is the Bushcraft kit for an overnighter. Call it what you will. I've just got one other thing that is a very, very new addition and hasn't been out of me yet. Um, and it's going to have its own standalone video, but I'm going to include this in part, as part of this kit simply because I'm so impressed by this tool that I think it is going to be part of my bushcraft kit 24/7, my prepping kit. Um, I'm tempted to even buy another one to have in my car kit as well. And this is the um, Cold Steel Spetsnaz shovel. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this because I'm going to do a standalone video in the next couple of days because this is awesome, this is incredible and I, I think this is going to be part of my bushcraft kit forever and a day. Um, what I'll do is I'll just turn the camera around. Oh. So, uh, sun is shining, you've seen my kit, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, like I say, the whole reason for this video is to give my support to Zed. Um, I think he's got a fantastic little channel going there. Um, I know he's got his 100 subscribers already and I can't, I don't think it'll be very long um, before he's eclipsed me. Um, I'm still blown away that I'm on 560 something. Um, I th the, from speaking to Zed, the passion that he's got, the ideas that he's got, I think he's gonna rock it um, and go, you know, I think he's gonna do really well on the YouTube side of things. Um, I love to speak to him on the phone, and again, just to reiterate, I don't want the prize, so if I'm fortunate enough to win, um, it's up to Zed what he does with the prize. Give it to someone that um, ha doesn't have as much kit, um, or is in a less fortunate position. Um, and I'm sorry if that comes across as pompous, um, but I just don't need it. Um, anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please head along to Zed Outdoors' channel, um, I'll post the link below. That's me, Hunterian, 1986. Stay safe.